I don't really need a judge to tell me to serve my community, but in this case he did. Do oh, you know Jacob Wheeler? I whipped his second cousin's butt in a tournament one time. And if you're using something from the local sponsor, which is actually Love Stuff, Florida champion was using blow up dolls. He tied them all together. It looked like an orgy out on the water. He had three of them tied together. But I got on this date and site, Farmers Only. That's funny. It's probably not funny to you, but. No, I'm in a predicament here. I'm in a bind. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is part two. So we're actually gonna film another follow up to the uh, prank calls on these uh, tackle stores. I've actually got some better storylines uh, for this run. Um, you know, the first one was really trying to get my feet wet. It's been a long time since I've done prank calls. So I've really got a better idea of it. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Stay tuned. If you haven't seen part one, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Go ahead, hit that, give that a peep. Um, but let's get right into this one. Go on film stream. How may I direct your call? Uh, yes, can I please be directed to fishing? Your call. Please hold for the next available associate. Fishing department is speaking. Uh, hey, uh, I got a, a question. I, I'm a, I'm somewhat of a professional fisherman. Um, I, I was just wondering if y'all would be interested in maybe some weekends, especially, you know, with all the COVID stuff, if I could do like some seminars in the parking lot for like, you know, an hour or two on the weekends, they'll just help people out. Um, I, um, you, I mean, I just, I just felt called, you know, by, you know, higher power called me or ordered me, you could even say to, you know, just give back to the community a little bit. And, you know, I, I've always finished top tens in every wildcat I've ever, ever fished. And I just think it would be something good to, to, you know, give back to the community, like community service. I got you. Let me see. Let me talk to our store manager first and I might get you the number of our, uh, community marketing okay um director yeah but uh i'm gonna put you on hold real quick and just see what what well, my manager thinks well hang on before you do that i mean i, I guess i need to come yeah. clean here a little bit and if if i were to do something like that i i would need y'all to like fill out a paper um you know it it was a higher power it was a judge told me to do some community service uh so i don't really need a judge to tell me to serve my community but in this case he did um, so, you know, my, my big thing is now is that I, I don't, I don't run lines of cocaine. I, I let fish run my lines. You know what I mean? And I, I, got you. I, I don't have a meth problem anymore, but the bath have problems with my methods, if you know what I mean. So <laughs> I, I got that, that's, that's sort of my, my game. And I just, I want to try to help people. And, you know, I, like I said, I've, I've got a, a lot of, a lot of wildcat top tens under my belt. Um, do you know, do you know Jacob Wheeler? Have you ever heard of Jacob yeah. Wheeler? Well, yeah. I whipped his second cousin's butt in a tournament one time. Is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so I, I'm just saying. I got you. So yeah, anything we need to do, I'd love to. I'd love to just come down there, you know, as uh, just a couple hours on the weekend and just try to help people. Maybe get them in the store and buying things, you know, just whatever I can do. Because I really don't want to be on the side of the road picking up trash. I'd rather do something more constructive. <laughs> I hear you. Well, uh, well, let me get back to you real quick. I'll just put you on hold um, for a moment. And I'll, I'll let you know, um, and I might get you that number to our uh, community marketing director because it might have to go through him anyways. Do you, does this something that normally, like, I'd have to run this by, you know, my my PO just to make sure that this is this is the thing. It's just an idea I had. I thought it'd be, it'd be it's better than nothing, you know. It, it's something I'm interested yeah. in and could actually help, I think. I got you. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it's a possibility. We haven't. I'm trying to think if we hadn't really had anything much like that. So we used to do events and stuff, but I hadn't, we hadn't had like a fishing event here in a while. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll be right back with you and I'll let you know. All right. Thank you. Yep. All right. Straight up. I got to hang up. I can't do it anymore. I can't, I can't do that one anymore. I would have loved to carry that one on. I don't think I could have kept it together. It's, it's too early in the morning to try to keep it together. I got to get, I got to get right here. I got to get. I get right. Gosh, I, I just couldn't. I couldn't hold it together any longer. I, I could not do it. I couldn't do it. Gosh. Okay, we got to try again. We got to. We got to jump on another one. That was field and stream. We need to call Academy. Let's call Academy real quick. For fishing, marine, and hunting. Wait while I transfer your call. Thank you for calling your Gaston Academy. This. How may I help you today? Um. Yes, I'm the uh, the 
president and founder of the IBFL. It's a it's a local tournament series. Uh, it started in Florida, but we're trying to bring it up to the up north a little bit in Alabama. I've got some flyers for a free tournament. I was just gonna see if I could put those on like your real case. Is that something that y'all could do? It's just it's a free entry uh, tournament. You just have to. You would have to come in and catch one of the uh, managers to ask. You just have to come in and catch a manager and, and speak with them, and I, and I would do it in per in person. I'd I can get you one on the phone if you want, but I would. Okay. It plays better in person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, and it's just it, you know, is the drive up there. Like I said, we started this in Florida. It's an inflatable bass fishing tournament. It's kind of like the way kayak fishing started out, but we're, we all we do is inflatable stuff. So we've got you know, it's kind of fun. You know, we get kids out there and they'll get on like you know, we air mattresses. We had ducks and unicorns. Um, but we picked up a couple mm-hmm. a couple local sponsors up there. We're going to try to do this at the River Rocks Landing this this month. Hopefully, it's free entry. We do have a sponsor though, so they're going they're going to pay for it. First place pays two hundred fifty dollars, and if you're using something from the local sponsor, which is actually Love Stuff, is fifty dollars. Because what we found is that believe it or not, Richard Slidesdale, our Florida champion, was using blow up dolls. He tied them all together, and because he said they got rod holders, you know, in the face and the other area, so he put the use them as rod holders so he he was able to use more rods than most people because it's kind of hard to fish off of an inflatable especially if you got treble hooks you don't want to pop them yeah so it's yeah, just something we're just trying to start. coming in and, and catching one of the managers and speak with them okay yeah i yeah i can definitely do that so we're trying to drive up from florida because we, we started this in florida but we realized you know gators are kind of an issue on inflatables so we got it. We're trying to keep it above you fall, basically. Right. So we we sort of picked that area because y'all are y'all are an academy right next to the the Cusa there. So we're um, and you said in person is probably best, probably not over the phone. It's only one here. He's real busy, mm-hmm. and he's just gonna say not today. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, is I'm just being honest the, with you. I can give it, you to him. Is it because of the sponsor? You think? being love stuff uh, no 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 because that's no, what probably. our biggest worry was no, but no. that's kind of a secret an inside secret you know richard slidesdale when yeah. he pulled that in he, he was i mean it looked like an orgy out on the water he had three of them tied together but it worked it was very effective so <laughs> we just got to keep it pg for the kids so we're trying not to let that secret yeah. out but love stuff sort of jumped all over that and they're throwing an extra 50 dollars, so it could be 300 dollars for the winter if you use any of their products well, I, maybe I need to, I can talk to someone local because I've got a couple people that have signed up for it. Maybe I can talk to someone local and get them to come in and sort of vouch for me a little bit on that. Bring okay. in a flyer, show you know we tried to downplay the love stuff thing on there, trying to keep it, trying to keep it clean. Well, if you're interested, it's later this month. Uh, we haven't completely picked out a date yet, but it's later this month. I mean, you can get out there with an air mattress or. I mean, if you want, you can, you know, I think they're giving 15% <laughs> off at Love Stuff if you want to get a blow-up doll and use that, too. I mean, that, but it's very effective because it's rod holders, you know? All right. Yep. All right. All right. Well, thank I you. Want, all right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, my gosh. That was awesome. He was not playing. He was. He did not want to play at all. Okay. All right. It's a good one. We got our feet under us. We had that little rough patch there with the first one, and uh, now uh, later today I need to call a taxidermy when they open. I got to call a taxidermist here. I got a good one for a taxidermist. So y'all stay tuned. Hello. Uh, yeah, is this uh the taxidermy place? Yes, it is. I have a very odd question. Okay. Do y'all sell? animals or stuffed stuff that like for instance if i needed to purchase a fish do y'all sell that without me catching it and bringing it to you like do y'all have like Uh, just a display or something well sometimes we sell if we have people that don't come pick them up or can't come get them but i don't have anything right now Mm, okay i've got myself in a predicament and uh i'm trying to find so i met do you have a second? Maybe you can yeah, help me out I here. With, I don't know if you've got friends in the taxidermy industry or anything. I got on this dating site, Farmers Only, and I met yeah. this girl, and she is big, big into fishing. And I'm an idiot, and I was just, like, going along with it. And I said, yeah, I'm into fishing, too. And she said her biggest fish was an 8-pounder. <laughs> and I said, well, mine's an 11. Now, I, <laughs> I don't fish, but it's this weekend's our third date. 
and she said, you know, she was going to come back to my place. You know, I'm a gentleman. I wait till the third date to do anything like that. So trying to keep it classy. And she wanted to come yeah. back, and she was like, and she wanted to see that fish. And I got to find a fish, pr- preferably an 11-pounder if, if someone's got it. I mean, I don't want her to think I'm a liar, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, Do you know anybody that might have? I don't have anything. I don't even have one that you could use. Uh, well, the problem I, is, is I'm really screwed because here in a couple of weeks she's going to want to go fishing on that boat that I don't have. And I don't know how much those are, but i got to look up that too. That's going to get expensive. How much would, if, if let's say if we found one of those fish, like, you know, just a stuffed one somewhere, like, you know, 10, 11 pounds, somewhere like that, how much do you think that would run? Probably about anywhere from 165 to 275 or something like that. That's an expensive date. Yeah, it is. Now, you might can find one that somebody's got that that's just what, if we were, we're not yeah. mountain fish right now, what it is, because we've got so many deer and stuff, but oh. but we charge 275 to mount one. Ooh. But now, you might can find one that that's a... Uh, How long does it take? Go on I mean, eBay. I've got, well, I got Have you been Sat- on eBay? I haven't been on eBay. I only got till Saturday. I was trying to hope to find someone local. I didn't think about this until she said something last night on, you know, on her FaceTime. She was like, "Man, I can't wait to see that fish." And I was like, "Man, I need to get on that." She's going again. I don't want her to think I'm a liar, but I'm in too deep now. I've told her I'm a fisherman. I've caught these big fish. I got a boat. I'm starting to think <laughs> this may not work go out. On your boat, you know that. Do what? She's going to want to go on your boat. That's going to be the next date. Yeah, no, my don't... son's into fishing. He's, But he doesn't have any... Does he give lessons? Because um... <laughs> I'm going to need him if this works out. I probably shouldn't uh, have been on Farmers Only. I am, I am. Listen, I'm not a country person. I just... I, everybody says country girls are, are cuter and nicer, and she is... Whew, she's whipping me already. I'm only two dates well, in. Well, yep, um... She's real pretty, though. Real pretty. Well, she may be worth it, so... The thing I would say, you, you know, kind of like you said earlier when you said, well, we don't even have one to borrow. I'd like to rent one, but at the same time, if this continues, I got to keep yeah. it. Yeah, you need to... You need to yeah. I, got, I mean, she's going uh, to... She's a big bass fisherman, apparently. I did not realize that that... Number one, I thought I was just getting a country girl. I didn't realize I was getting... Like, I got to learn to hunt. Like, she's all in Where hunting. Where is she from? Uh, Springville. Well, see, who is it? I don't want to give out her name now. Oh, okay. Well, see, I'm from Springville. Been from Springville all my life. Oh, okay, okay. So, and that's where we're at. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. It's probably not funny to you, but... No, I'm in a predicament here. I'm in a bind. I'm I'm in a little bit of a bind. What I should have done is gone to church and been honest. That's what I should have done. But I, I, she was just, you know, when she's pretty like that, you just start saying stuff, and then after you hang up, you're like, "What did I just do?" Like, I know. Okay, I'm you, uh, women Archie will do Phillip. things to you. Okay, I, I know got, it. I got a pen and okay. Here we go, Archie. Okay, Archie it's Phillips. It's an eight hundred number. Okay, okay, big business. Fort told her to call you. Okay, I mean, told you to call her. I, be, I bet you when you woke up this morning, you had no idea you were playing matchmaker, did you? No, I didn't. But that hey, that's okay. Uh, she does. She has done some fish for me when I get busy and I don't do, I don't do them. I just take them to them. So yeah. she they not well. She hadn't. She just works in the office. But call them. Okay. And um, worst case scenario, worst case scenario, if I can't find anything today, I'm hoping Friday to go out fishing. Is an eleven pounder pretty easy to find? No. No? Well, that's a, no. not a good backup plan then, is it? Gunnersville, uh, I heard, there's big ones, though. That's that's why I was yeah, asking. They do have, yeah, they do have some big ones there. Now, granted, I was looking at the acreage. That's a big lake for someone who don't it's know big, what they're doing. It's big. That's, and Well, that, that and all depends on a, if, I can get, if I can get a boat by Friday, too, I guess. That's that's another. That's a whole different thing. I don't know. I don't know if you can just go buy one. But if you want to go closer, um, like um, Logan Martin, okay, is a good lake. Okay. Look, worst case scenario, I, you know, it 
I burned my house down and we lost everything. I don't know. I got to come up with something. Well, you can always say it's at the taxidermy shop. I'm getting it repainted, or I'm getting it. It fell off the wall and broke a fan, and uh, I'm getting it fixed or whatever. That'll buy me a little bit of time. Yeah. Lies. I'm telling you, you shouldn't lie. This is a bad thing. I should have just been (laughs) up front. You got. I know. And see, when you do that, you got to keep doing it. I got wrapped up. This is how people get caught. Yep. Oh my goodness! Sure. This, is, this must be what it felt like to be a Clinton. I don't know. I, I'm just. I don't know. I really appreciate oh. it. Your name was. See, it works out. Okay. I I really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh my goodness! Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this content. This is some stuff that I've never really done before, as far as on YouTube. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You got a laugh out of it. Um, Obviously, that's not my best work. This is something I just thought of off the cuff. But I can rework this stuff. We can do some Craigslist ads. Although a lot of y'all Craigslist people, y'all won't text. Now, the software I've got, I can text. But it needs to lead to a phone call for it to make it on the air. Um, It's much easier calling these businesses. But you just don't know who you're going to get and what you're going to get. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be doing stupid stuff like this for the foreseeable future of my life. I mean, this is just fun stuff um, as well as fishing. Uh, you guys have a good one. We will catch you on the next one. Later.